Hello everybody, I wanted to show everyone how you can make $400 in just three games playing Trice's Chess, a variant of 8x8 chess, also has been known as Gothic Chess until recently. And so, you know, we're, we're at Trice'sChess.com, you can also get there by going uh, to GothicChess.info, let me just double check that. Gothicchess.info, yeah, see? So you can get there by going there, but TricesChess.com is where you want to go, and then uh, so Gothic Chess is now known as Trices Chess. Now, if you go to Chess.com, it's uh, still called Gothic Chess there, and also on GreenChess.net. So uh, if you look down here on the bottom left side here, we got the tournaments page, and the October tournament is so new that this hyperlink doesn't really go anywhere yet, but uh, we do have a number of games that you can actually view and play through the games um, by clicking on this link right here. So, how did I get to $400? Well, I won one October game that we'll get to later, and then we've got these two games that I've won uh, in the first two rounds of the June tournament at $100 each. So, uh, they were both against Lenny. Uh, he's kind of someone I've played about probably 100 games against, so we know each other well. And, uh, you know, when you know someone well, you kind of wonder how you'll do in a match or playing in a tournament. So it was, it was, they were exciting games. So let's go look at the first round, and I'll show you how I made my first $100. So as you can see, we're here at greenchess.net. And uh, if you guys want to go to the web yourself, you can play through a million of these games, and you can probably find 50 games at least that Lenny and I have played against each other. So I'm playing black here, and I'll just uh, flip through the game. So here we have the spike and then the... Uh, um, with the symmetrical spike, and we've got ourselves the Trice's chess version of the Petrov defense. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on analysis here, but I'm sure we could really uh, drill down on these moves. But it's just going to be a fun way of seeing how you can kind of play through the moves quickly. And not only can you view it this way, almost as if a you know a not not really a movie, but just playing through the moves. But you can actually watch it as a movie on Ed Trice's website, TriceIsChess.com. So we'll go back there and I'll show you that feature here after we're done. But I wanted to show you how I made the money. So uh, in this tournament, you know, Ed's been hosting a number of these tournaments. So if you guys want to make some money, then, you know, get on uh, get on Discord. Join the Trice's Chess Discord. You can find out about the tournaments that way. And... Uh, just get on Green Chess and talk to me, and I'll let you know where you need to go to. And you can see this game's pretty exciting, so I thought it was exciting. As you can see, there's a, a lot of, there's a melee of attacks and sacrifices. Honestly, I, I almost forget what was going on in this game. I just know it was pretty intense, though. But the Archbishop really was kind of the hero in two out of these three games. And here I just got a checkmate. I think uh, basically Lenny was resigning there. I think he felt like the game was getting out of hand, so he just threw away his queen for an archbishop solo checkmate, but it's pretty neat, right? You see how the archbishop is the only piece that's doing anything here, and it's doing a solo checkmate, so watch for that motif to come back again. So there's my first hundred dollars. All right, now, let's go to the next game. So now we flip colors. I'm white. Oh, what do you know? We got ourselves another um, symmetrical spike, but this time we both pushed our D-pawns, so this is actually not only a goal post, but it's a symmetrical goal post opening. <clears throat> if you get on the Discord, uh, at Trice's Discord, for uh, Trice's Chest, uh, you will see that he's got a whole channel just for opening names, and it's really interesting because, uh, you know, this is kind of like the Wild West. Uh, you know, you, you think about chess when it, you go back 200 years when they really didn't have opening names that much. There weren't names for most of the openings out there. That's the stage that Trice's Chess is at. So, you know, maybe if you jump into this game and start making some novelties, you might get a variation named after you. So this is an interesting um, opening era. Seems like both sides are kind of just maneuvering, and it's a little bit cramped, actually. So I don't really have much to say right now. It's just a bunch of, like, kind of strategic grappling, really. <clears throat> and Okay, so here we go. Now we got our, our first trades of the game. 
I guess that's a singular trade there, a bishop for knight. Normally, especially in Trice's chess, you want to hang on to your bishops and not so much your knights, but uh, I'm sure I had a good reason for doing that. But like I said, we're just whiz-banging through this so you get an idea of the features of greenchess.net and tricechess.com. Wow, this is getting really exciting fast, isn't it? Now, you know, the Archbishop was the hero in the first game. This game, it's going to be the Chancellor that really is the... He's not a, just a super major, but he's a super hero of this game for me, anyway. Not so much for Lenny. And uh, I don't think this is exactly a Chancellor's Vortex that Ed talks about a lot, but it's close, right? So here we have a pretty nice checkmate, right? All right, so that was my second $100. Um, and then, guess what? What's better than making $100 per game? $200 per game. Okay, so now Lyndon Lyons is a strong player. I've played him quite a bit. He's very active. Um, I think on chess.com we've played. So here we have... Now, when you see someone play C4, like the English opening in chess, right? Uh, usually, this has been known over decades to be like something that leads to what's called the Trice's Gambit, where, you know, I would push this pawn... Um, the king's pawn, and then try to nab that pawn after white plays knight c3. But if there's one thing I've learned from playing Ed Trison and his variant, it's that you know pawns are kind of like almost worthless. Like they're not worth much in chess a lot of times, right? They get in the way. It's even more so true in Trice's chess. I mean, you got these three super majors: the queen, the chancellor, the archbishop. You really just don't have time to worry about pawns. I suppose if you actually get to an end game and you start swapping super majors, then yeah, pawns start to matter, but Nine times out of ten, not so much. So here we have an interesting game. You don't see this very often where both sides have actually brought their chancellors out to face each other on the I-file. And, uh, you know, that's something that I've learned from Ed. And obviously, Lyndon's paid close attention to what Ed's done. This was, this game was really surprising, though. You'll see it's, it's almost over now. It, you wouldn't really think so, but I'm getting more and more pressure. And mostly, uh, Lyndon just kind of walks into a checkmate. Watch this. Yeah, he just walks. That was that was a that was a helpmate. So you know, you go back to here and you say, well, what can you do? And it, you know, I'm putting pressure on him, but I did not expect him to walk into a helpmate. So here it's, you know, white to uh, move and get checkmated on one, and that's kind of what happened. So I'm sure Lyndon will be fighting hard in the next game to get revenge for this. And uh, so I'm definitely not going to make light of it. It could happen to any of us. But you know, with $200 at stake, I was happy and very relieved to. Uh, be able to move on to the next game. So there you go. That's $400. And so, you know, while we're here at TriceSChess.com, let's talk about what would happen if you wanted to, like, replay a game. Okay, so we go replay game, right? And then, oh, look at this pretty little board. And then you just go, next move. Oh, oh no, it's doing that. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, actually, we might have a little functionality issue here. Okay, so... Maybe the new, I might, it's probably user error, but I'm just going to show you what would happen if I, like, say, replayed this game right here, which I think this is a pretty exciting game. Okay. There we go. See, now it's working here. So, for some reason, I guess that little link, I'm going to have to talk to Ed maybe and see if that's my fault or if we need to fix something. Because, um, you know, on this particular website, this link, you can actually just um, play the moves. But for some reason, from the tournament link, it seems to not be just going straight into the game. So okay, I'm going to try to move as quickly as I can just so we can kind of show the functionality here. Okay, see how quick that was? Now, uh, you can also turn this into a movie. So you say, oh, I want to watch the movie. Um, and then it'll actually just play it and I can sit back and play the movie. So, um, and there is like a 12 second uh, kind of waiting period for the splash screen. And then there's like six seconds for the first move just to kind of get you acclimated to how the pieces are set up. And a lot of people are probably familiar with the Capablanca setup, so, you know, it's nice to have that little time period there where it's like, oh, wait, oh, the pieces are actually set up in a good way and not such a poor way. I, I don't want to knock Capablanca's variant so much because Capablanca is one of the all-time greats, but to be honest, uh, Ed Trice has kind of poked some serious holes in the setup that uh, Capablanca came up with, and it seems like it just didn't get play-tested. And you really have to play test things, you know. Things seem great in theory until you actually test them out. This is a real brilliant game that was played by Archbishop Checkmate. Look at that. Just uh, a <laughs> nice checkmate. 
So, okay, so that's uh, that's how it works there. And then I wanted to show you real quickly Discord. So let's go to Discord. Here we are. So this is where you can see we're in uh, the Trice's Chess channel right here. And so this is how you can find out about things like, hey, here's the uh, October tournament. Hey, here's the June tournament. Okay, well, that's about it, you guys, uh, for this video. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you hit that like button. And then uh, make sure to subscribe so you can uh, check out more videos as I'll be streaming more and more. And uh, make sure to smash that notifications button. And also leave a comment below. Say nice things if you like. And uh, maybe there's something you think that could be better. All right. So appreciate you checking out this video. And we will see you in the next video.